Hello everybody, hope that you are very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I actually have a really interesting video for you right now as we are seeing the drop on the Bitcoin chart, as we are speaking, as we are speaking, this drop is occurring. I am in a scalp short position, so I will explain that short for you, the trade that I am holding for the short term right now. And I also want to go through um, you know, what's led us up to this point? What was some important supports? What resistance are we rejecting off right now? And are we going to be finding support in the immediate short term? I think we got a little tiny little bit more of a drop to go here still. So yeah, current price 34,250. Let's see if we can draw it. Well, we are, we are continuing the drop. There we go. Filled the single prints. So that's my take profit hit. I'm very content about that. Let me just actually make sure this take profit has hit. Um, sorry, we are in the middle. We are in the midst of the action right now. We are literally in the midst of the action right now. And as you are going to see, I am now literally going to update my team with that because I had literally just before I started the video saying we are filling this as we speak. And now here we go. Uh, easy take profit one. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Very, very, very nice. So we are obviously waiting for these to be filled. They've just been filled. And well, it's a take profit. I'm not going to close out that short until at least I've finished this video. Let's get this video done with though. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So whew, what a start. <laughs> what a start to the day. What a day. What a day. I love this game. I love this game. So ladies and gentlemen, I was going <laughs> was gonna to talk you through uh, what we are. Sorry, I've, I've totally lost in this video right now. And there you go. Uh, where were we going with this? Right. So, yeah, I want to start off with actually talking you through this support here. I can cover this support. I'm, I'm going to wonder if we bounce. Um, let me just really quickly see this because we actually had a really technical move. I mean, the, the last, you know, I want to say the last 24, 48 hours have been extremely technical. I know we have, I haven't been active on YouTube. But I've been very active in the group and the trades that we've had recently have just been uh, they've been very, very, very technical. They've been nice. Uh, like there here, I can show you what, exactly what happened today. Uh, we obviously had the take of the highs into the CC, decreases in open interest, instantly that 17 million short opening, and well, the then the follow through off of it. It was it was really, really, really brilliant. Uh, anyway, yeah, we're finding a bit of support here. Let's go through this technical analysis. I want to get back to trading this, to be honest. Uh, but I am going to do this video. Um, so let's go. Otherwise, I'm, I'm going to not have time in the day. I'm enjoying trading at the moment. So let's just go. Um, as we were saying, sorry, this video. <laughs> Let's begin. So I wanted to start off with talking you through this support that we actually found here. Okay, oh, this is the thing. I'm so distracted right now. Anyway, let's go. Concentrate, Daniel. Three, two, one, bam, let's go. So the support that we found here, ladies and gentlemen, obviously I was posting this on Twitter the other day and I know you're all thinking, Daniel, I don't know whether to take you seriously on Twitter anymore. It's hard to tell if you're trolling or being serious. <clears throat> on this one, I think you could tell it was being serious because I was talking about the contenders videos. Uh, you know, this is a live stream, like like what I'm doing in the group. I'm never, ever trolling in the group. This is all serious. The only time I'm having a bit of a joke is, yeah, on Twitter. Uh, so, yeah, this was a serious post, though. And then this was on literally 12, 12 a.m. as soon as we turned into the 2nd of July. I was showing you all the level that I found in the contenders group. And this was during the live stream on Wednesday. Highlighted this really massive support level, which was basically around 30 two thousand seven hundred dollars off of the uh, range time point of control so you can see the nice cc pool level and again this was also posted in the trading update section of my group where well they already obviously know but i was just highlighting it to them and i even gave it on twitter um obviously it held extremely extremely well uh so if we add back on that level of seconds you can see if we come down to like the five minute chart um, you know, we came down to this level, found support off of it once and obviously posted it on Twitter at that time. You could have, you could have, if you felt like it, look for the long off that level again. And you can see here we bounced two, three times before obviously the big 10% increase in price, 10% increase in price, bringing us up to Sunday night. And obviously the CME opened big gap was formed. I don't think that was the primary reason for this drop. But obviously we did have a gap and, um, you know, really it was kind of like, standard operations like week weekend move up take the highs you know smash it down and, and that's exactly what happens we had a then a rise up this morning into the cc and i'll talk you through this in a little bit in a little bit but um 
Yeah, that, that was the first, that was the reason literally why we bounced. And I, and I want to actually approach a comment that I received on Twitter. And um, I'm not trying to be, I, I'm being really nice. I'm being, um, you know, I think this was a brilliant comment. And it's just one to highlight, to, to educate you, to get you to think why these moves are happening like they happen. Because I had an interesting reply to this. Uh, and it was, sorry, but that's unfair. You front run me, obviously. He's, he's joking. I'm sure he, you know, this guy's joking. But um, there is a CME gap below. Yes, there was a CME gap below the level that we were looking at as support. I agree. He says there were Fibonacci levels below. I agree. There was the CC. Uh, there were pivot points below. There were weekly levels below and much more. And I totally agree with him. He says, I feel like I have just, I feel like this is, obviously, I'm not sure if he's joking as well, but I feel like I just have to be in your group since you make the market. This level has so little compared to the ones below. So basically the question or, or statement, I suppose, is, you know, why have we bounced off the level you gave, Daniel, when there's so much bigger support below? And I comprehend the comment here. And I think this is why it happened like it did. Because let me show you what actually happened. So that we're obviously referring back to around the 2nd of July. Uh, so if we go to the CME market, this is what everybody was looking at at the time. Yeah. So we are looking back to the 2nd of July. And we were obviously looking at 2nd of July. Are we talking about the right day here? Yes. So we obviously had this big move up on the 2nd and then everybody was looking for this gap fill. And you can see that the gap is slightly front run. <laughs> so you didn't quite get the gap fill that everybody was looking for. Uh, no, this is the bit where, we, oh man, where are we? I am losing my dates here. This was the 1st of July. Um, so then the gap fill. We obviously have missed two gaps. So then this was the one on the fifth. Yeah, so this is the one that we just had. So it's happened twice, yeah. So we're referring back to this. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. We're referring back to this gap, Phil, actually, when we're obviously coming back on the 2nd of July, but the gap was from the 25th. And so this is the CME gap everyone was looking at. So everybody wanted to see this CME gap here, Phil, yeah? And so at this, this is what you have to think. People are... When everybody's looking at the same level, I think it's very unlikely that it ever works. Uh, so e.g. front running. So this is what you have to think is happening at this time. Everybody and their mother is like, oh my God, the CME gap needs to be filled. This is a really good short or I'm not longing until the CME gap's filled. Well, guess what? Bigger players, they know how to move the market in a way that's going to wreck a lot of people. Also, you have to remember, we were at a massive support level. In my opinion, this was a massive, massive, massive support level that we had highlighted literally like two days in advance of the move we knew the level of support yeah we absolutely perfectly tapped it and so you have to remember there's a few different things that's happening at this moment in time um you have the people at this point that are like oh i'm waiting for lower because for example here you had a cc that people were like i'm waiting for the cc for example you had people saying i'm waiting for the cme gap fill i'm waiting for the pivot points i'm waiting for the weekly level and there's a lot of people at this moment in time that are thinking to themselves, oh, I'm just going to wait for lower. Not acknowledging, or I do, I think this was a level that many people had no idea about because this is a highly technical level that requires some skill to find. Now, this was a, this was, this was a, I'm not going to try and brag too much, but this was an absolutely insane find by myself. Again, two days in advance to absolutely nail the low during the contender stream explaining how exactly I got that. That was a catch and a half. I'm not going to lie. So this was a level, e.g., that no, I think nobody really knew about this. And it was absolutely brilliant the way it worked out. So then you obviously have this rise in price. People that are waiting to buy in lower, they're getting FOMO as it's creeping up. They're getting FOMO. They're thinking, oh, I'll wait for the drop. Oh, I'll wait for the drop. Oh, I'll wait for the drop. Final increase in price. Oh, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm just going to buy. They buy, bam, straight down. OK, <laughs> it's kind of funny. You had the same thing play out today or uh, well, yesterday, I suppose. You actually had this naked daily point of control that we actually tapped pretty well. Rise in price, bit of a bull flag, rise in price. And then this is a this is obviously from earlier today. Recognizing we were at the local CC resistance at this moment in time. You know, I'm, I knew the level. I'm updating my team. I know where we're at. I did not take the short off of the low of it, though. I actually waited for in my opinion, the confirmation. And it was very, very, very simple. If you're in the group, you really have to understand this type of theory. And I have explained this in the group. Obviously, if you like these type of live updates that I give, then yeah, this is obviously for the champion group. But it was really, 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 really technical. And this is like what we teach. It's just absolutely perfect. Let's increase it to the five minute. But basically, so I knew we were waiting for the CC. 
I knew where we were at, but I wanted to see this level of confirmation. We obviously took the highs on the decrease in the open interest. And then this is where I thought this is the good short after I saw this. Yeah. So you see this. Uh, can you see? Oh, no, I'm stood in the way. Let me just hide myself. So. Yeah, you, so you see this here. We took the high on a uh, massive decrease in open interest. And then the following candle was this one with 17 million uh, negative delta. Look at the open interest increases. 14 million candle bringing us up to 144 million CVD, 19 million negative on the session. So this for me was just like, you know, this... This is what I want in terms of the volume order flow. And that is what I wanted in terms of the CC. Like I'm, I'm laying it out in front of people. And then all you need to do is understand what we teach. And, and this is a short that you take every day of the week. Yeah. And then obviously, well, this is the follow through that we've had off of this. Um, obviously have here take profit one of this is for filling our row single prints we had a but we had the we had the double distribution day so again people in the group that are learning with us we had the first distribution row of the single print second distribution obviously with with within the same day but after running the highs with that selling tail uh seeing the open interest that's a good short okay and then obviously yeah nice take profit i think there around 4, 4, 34 100 ish yeah it's like we had yesterday. Yesterday was the exact same setup, actually. Intraday, double distribution day, run the lows. Um, you know, obviously, well, we know where we came up into the end of CC. So, yeah, I think it's been a really, 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 really technical, you know, few days, really, since we, you know, well, what's this? This is actually a bit more than a few days now, like four days. Like each of these pivots, point of control, <laughs> point of control, point of control, uh, daily naked point of control into the CC and like the order flow, the volume, it's just all coming together really, really, really nicely. So yeah, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's an enjoyable, it's an enjoyable time to be a trader right now. If you know what you're doing anyway, like I, I'm sure some people are getting wrecked, but for the people that know what they're doing here, it's, it's pretty nice environment to be fair. Um, so yeah, now in intraday again, what, what, what are we looking at here? Well, of course, 35K is now your intraday resistance. Uh, that's fairly well established now after after this big move to the downside. Uh, you know, where am I going to be looking at next? I mean, we've just lost uh, support. You know, we've just lost pretty big intraday support. So um, yeah, this is the way that I would kind of play this now. It's not necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily just jump into a long straight away. <clears throat> okay, now you've seen 11 million shorts that I open at the lows. Like, you know, I don't kind of understand when, you know. anyway, but, you know, it's like, this is not really a good time to short, in my opinion. Like, this is a good time to short. And now you just literally saw 11 million shorts open. It's like, eh, I don't know, do what you want sort of thing. But I prefer to short at the highs, not not down here. <laughs> this, is, this is me as a take profit one. But, um, you know, f f to each their own, I suppose. There has to be winners, there has to be losers. So we can't get too upset. Um. So anyway, yeah, I, I think the way that I would approach this now is, yeah, of course, if you can get, I think you would either wait for a local absorption. Like this is the thing, you don't have to rush straight into the trade right now. You can wait for this little bit of absorption. We have the potential because we do have this, um, we have this channel that I've obviously been given. And this one is this. So it's always, you know, as long as we could make another higher low here and continue up. That's what I'm trying to say. We haven't lost the support yet. So if we just look at this like this. OK, we still have this nice upwards channel currently. Low, high, midpoint, high, low. OK, didn't quite reach the high here, but we all know this was a big point of control resistance. Didn't quite reach the low of the channel here, but we all know this was a big front run back up to around the middle of the channel. We hit the lows a few times yesterday with that swing failure pattern up into the CC. So we could still hold our higher low here, but each higher low we want to keep seeing absorption. So that's important to look out for, in my opinion. So I think you do have the potential of another long here. But again, I don't think you necessarily need to run straight into it. I think you can literally wait. I don't know. You could just have to be, a you know, in terms of like 10 minutes or so. Um, yeah, you haven't got any signs of absorption at the moment. So, you know, this is the thing. You might want to be a bit cautious. Uh, I would personally be happy to wait a little bit to see if there's actually a long setup that occurs here. I don't have a long here at the moment. I have a nice take profit on a short, but I don't. that doesn't mean it's a long yet for me. So I'm happy to wait. Maybe, maybe might be 10, 15 minutes to see if we get some signs of absorption here, which equals a good long. You don't have that at the moment, but that again could come in, you know, literally about 10 minutes time. So it's one of those things you have to kind of wait for. Uh, I do think this is a nice technical level. But again, you kind of, I would personally happy to wait for that level of confirmation. Again, waiting for confirmation, it does mean you take a few less trades, but your win rate is, 
yeah, let's just say very high. Uh, <laughs> people don't believe me when I say my win rate. You can just get very high win rates when you wait for these levels of confirmation. So in my opinion, it's worth it. So um, yeah, that's that's kind of the way I would approach this. So yeah, intraday resistance, obviously 35K now. Uh, if you breach above that, then yeah, you can be looking back up towards the highs. We're still building higher lows. So obviously, in my opinion, that big, big, big support is, well, we've already bounced off this once. So I think we can approach this a little bit lower now to around 32K, big intra. This is an intraday. This this is more medium term time frame support. Obviously bounced off our first one once up into the point of control down to the buy and sell up to the CC. And now uh, this is again scope traders territory of support. If you want to see a bit of absorption or build a higher low if you lose this channel. Uh, we can probably revisit these lows down to the big CC. And this is a region I've literally just put on the chart. But I'd be looking for around 32k to be fair. Uh, 32 to 31 500. I already know this is a big support. Um, so yeah, how long have I been doing this video? 15 minutes, too long. I actually want to go back and trade this. I'm not going to lie. I am having <laughs> withdrawal symptoms already. It's been a brilliant few days of trading. I'm going to go back to the team, answer some questions and, uh, look at this. Just watching Daniel entering trades consolidation. Uh, and then bam, 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 exactly as predicted. Your teaching is amazing. There we go. People are loving it right now. We're absolutely killing the game. Thank you ever so much, everybody. If you want these sort of live updates, things like this, uh, this is obviously for the champions group. I think it's absolutely invaluable, but then, I mean, I'm killing it right now. And obviously for the educational side of things, if you want to learn about these type of things, learn how to read the volume, that's obviously for the contenders group. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much. I hope you have a brilliant day. And yeah, try and enjoy your trading as much as we are right now. And it's just a walk in the park. Thank you ever so much. That's me signing out. Cheers, everybody. And goodbye. No financial advice in this video. Make sure you pause and understand this disclaimer. And then we will end it. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. I'll catch you in the next video and have a good day. Bye. <laughs>